face filters. Oh, hi, Jacqueline. Oh. All right, Jacqueline, if you can, just request to be in the live, and then I will accept you. Please, you do. Yes. Hi, Bree. If you can uh, request to be in the video, and I'll add you in. Okay, there we go. Hi, Grace. Hi. Good morning. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Hi, Jacqueline. Hi, Jacqueline. Awesome. Hello, hello. Hi, everyone. Thanks for coming into our live. I'm Marina. This is Zeba, the creator of Tree Leaf. Uh, today, we're going to be going over our new collection, Bear, and share some more designs. We have Bree with us, and we have Jacqueline with us. Hi, ladies. <laughs> Um, but before we get into our creations, I'm going to have Zeba tell us about Bear real quick, uh, just so everybody who's new can know about our new collection. Yeah. So hi, everyone. Uh, hope everybody is surviving the heat wave. <laughs> it's pretty hot around here. But uh, yeah, I mean, I would like to give you a quick rundown of what the Bear collection is all about. So, you know, we, most of you are familiar with our normal, you know, trellises, which come in... Uh, a number of designs. They are made made out of uh, you know cherry uh, ch ch cherry wood, and basically uh, those the, the usual ones are uh, finished, fully finished. So we uh, seal them, coat them, uh, and they are ready to go. But with the bear collection, um, it's the wood is uh, kept bare, as the name is described. So we chose um, you know white colored wood, which is uh, in this case, you know, sometimes it's birch, sometimes it's maple, but it's white, um, and we keep that keep it unfinished except for the stakes. So the stakes still have the rubber coating, so you can, um, yeah, I mean, it, you can still it's ready to go inside the pot uh, in the soil or whatever medium you're using. But then you can uh, transform it uh, to go with your decor. So I mean, this is one example. I did not make this. Hey, look at yeah. that metallic. So Laura, um, one of our team members, she found this metallic paint at Hobby Lobby for a dollar. And she's like, yeah, I'm going to get it. And <laughs> she painted it uh, metallic blue on the front. Um, and then in the back, it's slightly different. It's a metallic silver color. So, um, looks so, so yeah, I mean, it's a... It, it's one shimmery trellis that you can let your plants climb on. Yeah, I really love the two tones because it's like from the back, it looks completely different in the front. So the whole point is just to make a customizable trellis. And we've enjoyed seeing everybody's creations because a lot of people just like just take it and run with their own things. I know, Jacqueline, you did something really unique with your trellises. Um, so we'll start with you. You could introduce yourself and talk about your design can you guys hear me okay yes yeah perfect. okay just making sure this is my first time doing an instagram live so i was confused <laughs> um, so me and my boyfriend did some stuff with ours and i'll show you his first because it was everybody's favorite his inspiration <laughs> is literally just whatever i can put googly eyes on and if he was here he would tell you that himself so he made this guy. We haven't named him. That's yeah. adorable. This is the pack seller. Did you ever see the new Toy Story movie? They have like this fork character, Forky. No. That's who I didn't see it, but I know which one you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> kind of does look like that. So we literally just went to Michael's and kind of picked up whatever inspired us so he got this weird I don't even know what to do with the rest I guess more of our <laughs> plants need hair maybe so he did that one and then my inspiration honestly might sound weird to some people but we have a snake and I've been really inspired by like all of the different designs that boas can have I don't know if you guys are familiar with reptiles but I 
tried to replicate some of those and it didn't work, but I tried. <laughs> it's the effort that counts. This one I haven't finished, but I ended up just painting it black, which maybe wouldn't be everybody's first choice, but I kind of like the way it looks, honestly, just with the matte black. I haven't sealed it yet because I've been trying to figure out a way to get these sparkles to work. So this was my tester. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it didn't work out great because you can tell it's not as sparkly as it should be because I, I put them on and then I put the wood sealer over it. So I think that for this one, I'll seal the wood first and then glue on my like little black iridescent sparklies. Oh, um, cute. That's cute. That's you know cute. what I mean? Because it's like still dark, but sparkly which yeah. is kind of like my personality so I like that <laughs> and how did you glue those sparkly things on the wood I didn't that's why it didn't work I tried to just use the sealer because I forgot to buy glue <laughs> so I oh. haven't had time in the move and everything I want to go buy glue and actually like try and do this properly so there will be a part two if you guys don't follow my YouTube channel if you don't know who I am it's just Jacqueline's Jungle same as my username here and there will be a part two eventually. <laughs> and I want to buy more because this one broke. Oh, yeah. I know. The, the the first prototypes you made were from like whatever wood we could find. Yeah. So I'm a little bit aggressive. I won't lie. I was like painting it, like holding it up in the air, trying to paint it. And I really like this color blocking though. So I think I'm going to try and do it again. Yeah, that color yes. block looks really nice. Yeah. I also like the yeah. old one because I bet that'll pop really nice, like with the plants. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. so I attempted to copy some of like my favorite terracotta pots that had like mm -hmm. color blocking paint yeah. on it with that one. And then this one I just stained. Oh, nice. Mm. I didn't really do anything. I was going to draw on it. I have this like um, acrylic paint. Pen and then I chickened out because they started <laughs> doing it on here and I wasn't sure if I liked it. Yeah. But this pattern was inspired by um, a Brazilian boa, con uh, boa constrictor. Nice. <laughs> weird like that. So, but so I tried. For you that don't know, those little leaves that Jacqueline was showing are actually our baby bears. So you're able to use those baby bears to kind of test what your creation will be like. You can see how the paint shows up on the baby bears or like marker if you want to use yeah. marker. And each trellis comes with two baby bears. And it's a really great way to just test out what your creation will look like before you do it on the trellis. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that one. <laughs> He's like, whatever I could put a face on. Yeah. So, yeah they come like this. Yes. And then they have a little... Um, cut out at the top so you could hang it or I added mine to my plant wall with some wall tape <laughs> some earrings <laughs> that might be a little heavy for earrings but <laughs> my ears can handle it I got the facts yeah yeah plugs in there so yeah I'm definitely gonna do more though I'm yeah. excited to order some more and uh, force my boyfriend to be creative with me. Maybe some of his kids will get involved. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's always a fun time, especially during summer break. Yeah. Our uh, photographer, she got her kids in on some cellist designs that came out really cute. Yeah. So, and hopefully. Yeah. I love I love that. That. Yeah. Me too. It's just like the <laughs> The shape and the design of the trellis with the black, it looks yeah. really good. Well, because a lot of my anthuriums, I like them because they're like their leaves are really dark. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't expecting. He, he was like, You're really just going to paint it black? And I was like, Yeah. <laughs> <Why not?" laughs> so. Yeah. I mean, it might look good in a white pot with a white pot or a black pot. You mm -hmm. know? Yeah. I really looked to see what it looks like in a plant. Let's see what it looks like in here. <sighs> That's beautiful. Oh, yeah. like, I like it. Yeah. Might that just have cool. to leave it black and, and buy some more. Yeah, do it. <laughs> That's so, super cute. And yeah, everybody loves this one. 
Yeah, I mean, the googly eyes, though. Who doesn't love googly eyes? Now we have a whole package of them. I was like, maybe if we just put magnets, we can put them on some of, like, the bigger leafed plants. Yeah. Yes, yeah. or on some pots. Yeah. That would be adorable. Yeah. So, that's my story. You mentioned your YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. I know you have a lot of Hoyas, which are my favorite. You've been doing a lot of unboxings on your channel. What kind of stuff do you like to do? Oh, my goodness. Too many unboxings recently. Honestly, I don't know what's gotten into me and why in the middle of a move. I thought it was a good idea to just order so many plants, but I have more space here in a greenhouse that you can maybe kind of see up in the corner of the frame. But... Um, I got a little too excited about all the space that I had to put plants in. So, but it's been fun. So mostly unboxings. We do a lot of plant shopping, some vlogging. My boyfriend and I have our own channel as well. So like we just, we do anything. We keep it super casual, fun, educational sometimes, but like, I'm not an expert. I'm just learning as I go, like everybody else is, and trying to have fun and share my journey with people. So if you want to join the plant fam, come on over. Yes, and it's Bye. the same as her Instagram handle, just Jacqueline's Jungle. Yeah. And she has an adorable cat. <laughs> Two <laughs> now. Because <laughs> I moved in with my boyfriend who has an adorable cat. So now we have two adorable cats <laughs> that are both hiding right now. <laughs> yeah. But I have so, a pillow. This is one of my cats on a pillow. Oh, that is adorable. I need one of those. Seriously, everybody needs one of their pets. Um awesome. well, Bree, we could go to you now. You could show us your adorable little design and introduce yourself. <laughs> the black. Like I thought just plain black. Like, mm -hmm. uh, you're kind of breaking up, Brie. Mm, I have um, Wi-Fi, internet, or Wi-Fi. Okay. That sounds better. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you did, but that sounds better. I'm going to put you in my headphones, too. Okay, sir. Um, Maybe. Wait, talk again. Maybe not. We have terrible... <laughs> it is, okay. Yeah. For some reason... I we live out in the forest, so like our yeah. internet's terrible <laughs> and our signal. So I was wondering, I haven't gone live out here yet in this house, so I was like hoping it wouldn't be horrendous. So hopefully I stay connected. But that sounds great. All they were saying is that I I wouldn't have thought the plain black, but that was beautiful and like fully my aesthetic too. I love that. So I'm gonna have to. I, well, I planned on ordering more, but now I have to order enough to do plain black, too. <laughs> yeah. but, and then, so you talked about doing them with the kids, and that was actually my favorite part of ours, is I let them do the little testers. And then I actually, she sent me more, because my, so my son's super into, like, uh, prehistory, paleontology, has been since he's two, and he's 12, and he's still, like, fully on track to be a paleontologist. So he did... Uh, I think it's Mesozoic time period. So it has like the dragonfly wow, and the correct cool. ferns. But he wow. wanted to do like all the different periods yeah. <laughs> for him. And then this is my daughter's cute like tie dye wow ish one that she did. And she's so they have more. And I'm going to hang them on the wall like you did, Marina, because she's oh, got yeah. Hoyas in her room. So they'll climb up their wall in there. But. And she then, has coins in her room. That's adorable. I meant to bring it in here, but they're in the cute, they're like kitty pots, little cat yeah. pots. She loves yeah. them. She steals a lot of my plants. <laughs> it's cute because <laughs> she'll see yeah. it and she's like, I'm just going to put this in my room. <laughs> but they love it in there, so it works. But yeah. This is my little cactus. Which I know, like, a cactus painted as a cactus isn't the most creative thing ever, but it was fun to do. And it I really loved it. Is, though. Like, you executed that so well, and it looks amazing. I don't yeah. know why it's blurring. We'll put it over my face, and then it doesn't blur. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, it almost looks three-dimensional to me. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, that's why I've been, you. I thought to you, I'm like, you know what? Like, what have you done to make it pop like that? But it looks three-dimensional. 
Thank you. It was just a little, like, just shadows. Oh, yeah. Behind. So, and you guys, you know I love, well, if you know me, you know I love cacti. They were my first <laughs> love and houseplants. And then so. Yeah. And you just moved away from the desert. Do you miss the cactus, the cacti there? You know, I thought it would more than I do. <laughs> I think because we were there so long and like this week, I, so the summers, it's never under a hundred any day and it's already up there. And I'm like, yeah, I don't miss that at all because <laughs> we can be outside and it's nice instead of like sweltering. So, yeah. So did you use acrylic paint on the trellis? Yeah, it's just craft paint, and I actually just use, like, we always have a bunch on hand because my daughter's always doing some kind of craft project. <clears throat> so I just used what we had and then did a spray. It's another one I always keep on hand. It's like a matte um, acrylic spray uh -huh. sealant. And so I just did that so it didn't, like, change the texture at all. Sorry. We were sick the past week and I thought I was okay, but now that I'm talking, my voice is going funny, so I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine, you're fine. Don't mm. But yeah, the acrylic spray didn't really change. I was worried about that too, like with the glitter, because my daughter wanted to do a glitter one, but it, I don't know why. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, nice. Did you, um, and did you freehand the pricks? The, I don't know what they would be called. Yeah, like the little needles. It's just, so yeah. I started with, I did like the dot of the shadow and then just did like with a very small brush, just a white. And I started doing like extra shadow. Where did it go? I missed it. Oh, like the gray. And then it was too tedious. And I was like, you can't <laughs> even see it. So <laughs> just one white stripe worked perfect. Nice. Sorry, well, my voice. Oh, no, you're fine. It came out great. And then, like, in the video that you made with it, you paired it with, I think it was your lemon lime philodendron, right? Yes. Yeah, that looks so good. Yeah. Like, that you. bright green gets that green on the trellis. Yeah, that's, I actually am repotting it, and then I'm going to put this back in, but that's why it was empty <laughs> today. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that oh. came out amazing. Thank you. Did you want to have anything, or do you want to share how to seal the trellises? Um, yeah, I mean, I guess you guys, uh, you you guys have already you know covered, but painting it itself is kind of sealing it. But you know, I, I think it, it's nice to have uh, you know just put uh, a coat of you know polyurethane or a lacquer or you know some spray spray varnish also works. So any of those that you can find in you know the craft stores mm -hmm. or um, hardware stores would work. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I'm just amazed with what all you guys have come up with and all the different, uh, you know, even the baby bear, uh, yeah. uh, different uh, things that you're doing with the baby bears is kind of amazing. Um, actually, initially, we were not planning on selling the baby bears separately because the plan was, okay, it, it's just something that you it comes with this and you can paint on it. But I've had a lot of people ask for it. Um, they're like, oh, can, can I buy yeah. this? And I'm like, okay, yeah, why not? Yeah. So, yeah, you can now buy baby bears. I mean, awesome. I have it, we have it as a set of six um, on the website. Um, so, yeah, I mean, when, if you go into the bear collections, you should be able to see that. So if you just wanted to try even the small they're leaves. Big, big, big. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> they're so much fun to paint because mm -hmm. you're not as scared you're gonna like mess it up yes. uh, like a whole big piece you know yeah so, so but I wish I would have used the spray like Bree did because the the wipe on one even with the paint or maybe I didn't let the paint dry long enough kind of like with the white and everything turned it like yellowy so I might have to try the spray sealer next time it's so easy too and like it's just at the craft store and it's just yeah. like I probably have some. I just, because yeah. I do like pottery sometimes for fun, but like everything's a mess right now. I don't know where anything is. Yeah. So. I can relate to that for sure. <laughs> I think it's cool how you did the matte spray because uh, last month we shared Alicia's who did a glossy finish on hers. So hers came out really like shiny and glossy and then you did a matte and I didn't even know that those are options when it comes to mm -hmm. seeing yeah. So that's I really cool. matte. Yeah, just to, like, add a finishing touch to, like, an extra flair. 
That's really cool. And then about the baby bears also, I think it's been really cool to see how people have kind of like done their own thing with the bears because we thought it was just going to be like a testing and then they throw it out. But everybody's made their own creation. They're too cute to throw right? out. There's yeah. way too cute to throw out. Agreed. So yeah. cute. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, ladies, so much for sharing your designs and being our beta testers. Yeah, thank you so much. I mean, I, I think uh, you should, you know, maybe one last time, like, plug in uh, where people can find you and follow you and, you know, just uh, just so that I, I think people deserve, I mean, it'll be nice for people to follow you along the, later on, too. So. Mm -hmm. You go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Thank you. Um, so, again, you can find me on YouTube. Jacqueline's Jungle. Even if you spell it wrong, you'll still find me. And then I'm also on Etsy. If you guys want to check out my Etsy, it's also just ja everything's Jacqueline's Jungle. So across the board, always will be Jacqueline's Jungle. So come on over. Say hi. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks for having me, guys, too. This was fun. Yeah. Yes. Thank you for letting me do it and be on here. This yeah. <laughs> Love and this. what about you, Brie? I am plant girl underscore 50, which is, I never thought I'd like actually be a page when I made that, but here we are. <laughs> so <laughs> it started out as like a joke with it, but you know, so, but that's where I am on everything too as well. So, and I am on YouTube, but I haven't posted a video for like two years, but I'm going to get back into it hopefully in the next couple of months so good and Brie has a lot of really cute designs on um, a website I'm sure you can find it in her bio yes. and then uh, Jacqueline has a lot of amazing Hoyas that she sells like so more much coming lots more coming because <laughs> I don't have room for all these plans <laughs> <laughs> all right That's and neat. Well, we'll be doing another live next month if anybody wants to tune in. And then next week is our B stock sale. Yes, next week will be our B stock sale. So make sure you know. I mean, make make sure you join our email list because that's the uh, first. I mean, uh, that's the first place you know you'll find out about it. And then they generally go very quickly. So yeah, make sure uh, you join our email list, and then it will be next week, uh, the last day of the month, whenever that is. All right. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, ladies. Everybody stay safe from this heat wave, and we'll see you all soon. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.